I remember the July Revolution? Of course, how could I ever forget? The chanting, the violence, the smell of gunpowder, the three glorious days. Doesn't look good. Hello. The Sleeping City. Or the Weeping City? I think this is Sleeping. Look like an S and an L. I can't believe we're skipping work again. Also, hello everyone. My name is Triple S and welcome back to my area attorney. Uh, starting case three. I swear if I find that moping bird brain at Le Canard... Le Canard... Je can't speak. Finally, good morning, Falcon. Morning, Sp... No, wait. It's two in the afternoon. That means the official greeting is... Where the hell have you been, lazy bones? Ugh, it's far too early for this level of roasting. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. No way, we've got important business to discuss and I can't do that if you're half drunk. Would you give me a break? I haven't had a good night's sleep since the trial. Something on your mind? Actually, yes, it was what that wolf judge said about a revolution. Pshaw, that guy was off his rocker. Besides, if you're worried about every potential French Revolution, we would never get any work done at all, am I right? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, maybe you're right. Worrying doesn't do us any good. Tell me about the important business you want to discuss. Oh? Oh, yeah, the business. A letter. This one's from the Paris Police Department. Fancy wax seal and everything. That is indeed a fancy seal. Well, go ahead, Sparrison. You may have the honours. All right. <coughs> Monsieur Falcon, meet me on the rooftop cafe opposite the Place de la Bastille. I have a proposal. Regards, Inspector Valetti. Uh, that's it. How terse. Valetti's letter has been added to the evidence folder. Proposal from the inspector? Interesting. Do you have any idea what sort of proposal he has in mind? Not a clue. So, are we going to meet him and find out? We may as well. Don't know what sort of proposal the inspector has in mind, but we would be foolish to reject it without even hearing them out. Grab your kill. Alright, no dilly dallying. I like it. Oh, but before I forget, I did drop by the hospital at some point. What did you eat this time? No, no, it's not like that. Well, not entirely. We need to pay for the bill from my last visit. Oh, that's reasonable. Sure, we could pay a visit, but the inspector's call should take priority, I think. A new day. Takes us freaking forever to go anywhere in this place. Falcon, what are you doing? Procrastinating? I know that I should go talk to the inspector, but he's so much easier to just do nothing. Here's an idea. Why don't we head to Le Canage you, grab a bottle of wine and wait for this whole revolution to blow over? For Peter's sake, no procrastinating, no drinking. We're going to meet the inspector if I drag you by the tail feathers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go there then. <laughs> it's far too cold to be meeting on a rooftop cafe. Why couldn't the inspector have chosen a comfier location? Who knows? Maybe the inspector likes to view because it reminds me of his days guarding the old Bastille and the Asian Regiment? Wait, you think the inspector worked here during the Asian Regiment? You think that's how he got his war wounds? It was a joke, Sparrison. I'm pretty sure the inspector isn't that old. Da -da 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 -da. Well, well, well. Severin, what are you doing here? Slow down, JJ. Just like you, I was invited here by the inspector. What could he want with all three of us? It's highly unusual for the lawyers and police of France to collaborate. The inspector probably has a big investigative role that requires all hands on deck. A big investigative role, blah, blah, blah. Sounds juicy. Oh, by the by, did you hear what happened to Judge Romulus? No, what? He escaped from prison before we could even try him. Rumour has it that the 
Wolf bribed his jailkeeper and fled for the hills. So he escaped justice. For now, but don't fret, nobody manages to escape the long arm of the law forever. Speaking of which... Ah, good, you're all here. Excuse me, Monsieur Mr. Inspector Valetti, sir. Parker and I were wondering, did you get your injuries while defending the old Bastille prison? Don't drag me into this, you fool, I was joking. You were in pretty... Well, I'm not that old. I sustained these injuries when in the Ju July Revolution, 18 years ago. I was a royal guard, just a lowly peon, and the air was thick with gunpowder and blood. Oh, great, now you send him off. We were given the order to charge at a royal barricade, my comrades and I fastened our bayonets. Suddenly, boom! Without warning, a gunpowder kick exploded. My comrades were dead, I was heavily wounded. Ah, so that's what we were seeing at the beginning then, I guess. That's when I... Ooh! That's when I looked up and saw a Louis figure standing between the gaggles of Notre Dame. It was the Viridian killer himself. Ah, oh, that was the guy we probably saw in the rooftop. <coughs> this is a fascinating story, Inspector, but perhaps you could tell us why we are here? Oh, right, of course, why we're here. What I'm about to tell you is to remain strictly confidential. You understand, it's a matter of national security. As you probably heard, France is under threat from a certain heinous group. Revolutionaries? Revolutionaries? Indeed, rebels. There's a storm brewing in the shadows of Paris. We, the Paris Police Department, have no... Uh, about it for months. No, years. In every tavern and on every street corner, people talk of organising protests and overthrowing the government. The king has orders for public gatherings to be dispersed and newspapers to be censored, but the whispers of dissent remain. No surprise there, if you take away an angry citizen's ability to speak, they will just get even angrier. Indeed, and that's why it's paramount that we find and strike at the heart of the rebel group as soon as possible. For that, I need your help. What exactly do you want us to do? Interview citizens, scout locations, find the secret rebel meeting location that has escaped the eyes of the police. Do you have any leads? Just one. We know that the rebels are having weapons supplied to them by a crooked merchant who is only referred to as the Croque Monsieur. Like the sandwich? What? The Croque Monsieur. It's a hot sandwich. Cheese, ham, a little bechamel. Throw on some peppers if it's Friday night. There's nothing to do with sandwiches. Croque Monsieur is the alias of an accomplished and notoriously dangerous arms dealer. Probably a murderer as well. In any case, it's everything the Parisian police know. That's everything? That's all you have to demonstrate after years of tracking? Dot, dot, dot. Naturally, as a public prosecutor, it is my duty to help the police with their investigative work. I would be honoured to lend any and all assistance. Suck up. It's very good to hear, Monsieur Cocorico, but what about you, Falcon? Look at me when you're speaking to me, boy! There you go. Well, good. well to be honest, Inspector, I don't quite understand why you're asking me. I'm a private defence attorney. I work for citizens who get stuck in legal trouble. Rebel hunting is quite... isn't quite my forte. I am not Darth Vader. You want to know what I'm asking you? Look around you, Falcon. We are surrounded by corruption and incompetence. The judges are bloodthirsty wolves, the jailers are thieving ravens, and the National Guard are sitting ducks. Ha 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 ha. Look at the slackers and dullards who supposedly protect and save this country. Nobody cares about justice anymore. You saw my shameful display at the previous trials. Those are the results I've produced with imbeciles to assist me. But you three, you care. Falcon, I saw you defending Dame Catalan and Prince Juan. I heard of your escapades around the city, frantically collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Frankly, you did more investigative work over the last month than I've seen any policeman do in a year. Not including myself, of course. But Dame Catalan, it doesn't matter. You have passion and conviction, and you aren't a total bird brain. By my book, that makes you a fantastic investigator, even if that is not in your job description. So what do you say? Do you want to sit around your office twiddling your thumbs until another pointless job offer falls into your lap? Or do you want to take this opportunity to do something great and help us track down the animals who wish to harm our glorious nation? I'll be honoured to help my country. I'll be honoured to help my country, Inspector. Consider us on board. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. I had no idea you were such a patriot, JJ. There's nothing wrong with a little national pride. Uh, yeah, pride is fine and all, but, uh, do we get any compensation for this? Of course, here is 50 francs. You will receive another 50 upon the completion of your work. 50 francs? Shush! We're being undersold. Hush, Sparrison. This is a great opportunity. I don't want to keep you any longer than necessary. You already have all the key facts in the investigation. Find the elusive croque monsieur, find where the rebels are congregating. Those are your two tasks. 
I will check upon your progress in three weeks' time. See what you can, can accomplish by then, if I can speak. I've been doing my own in independent investigation into the rebel group JJ, so I suppose it's a competition of sorts. Try to, keep, try to keep up with me, if I can speak! Don't make me laugh, Severin. I'll have all the rebel leaders behind bars before you even have your first suspect. Come on, Sparriston, we have a quick one show to hunt. Okay, let's go! I knew a little competition would kick those bird brains into gear. Well, Inspector, this has been a productive meeting. I should probably start my investigation into the Kokomon Shaw too. Not so fast, Kokoriko. There is something else we need to discuss. <gasps> Mysterious! Da -da 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 -da. Wow! That is a lot of places we can... It even goes over to the right side of the screen. That's a lot of places we could check in a lot of days that it's going to take us to check all of them, apart from the halls. And I think I'm going to end off here because they still haven't updated this game to fix the messed up save system where you were supposed to be able to just save and quit at any point. Not just every time it says a new day. You could be in the middle of a conversation, save and quit and start back in the middle of the conversation. They still haven't updated the game to put that in after it broke. So, yeah. So I'm going to end off here and we'll continue next time on Wednesday, January 26th and we'll have a look around all these different locations. I guess if we have three weeks, we can check all of them, possibly? I don't know. But thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time for some more aviary attorney. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching this time. Good. Bye. This rock dub is named Waro Ryuta. In friends since he was barely hacked. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind.